Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Richard Vobes, and I have a YouTube channel. No, I do. I do. Um, my dear friend Clive de Carl. Do you know Clive de Carl? My dear friend Clive de Carl. When I had the first of these sort of talking engagements. I was over at his house. He'd invited the lovely Julia, who can't be here today because she's got children to deal with. Anyway, my dear friend Clive de Carl, when I was there, and I said, oh, I've got these talking events. And I'm, my background is in entertainment, but in, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that as well in a second. And I said, I've been trying to think about what to say in this type of environment because most of the audience will, if I'm talking to an awake audience, most of the audience will know far more about what's going on than I do because I'm the baby of the party. I've only just sort of got my act together, woken up and, and have gone down the rabbit holes, as you will uh, soon see. And most of the audience will know exactly what it is and, I, I, you know, what should I talk about? And he said, always have your opening line and then let it just come from that. So... I never quite prepare. Everyone says, do you know what you're talking about? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Other than, my name's Richard Vobes, and I've got a YouTube channel. Whereupon, everyone goes, yeah, we know that. Tell us something we don't know. So, yes, I'm Richard Vobes. Um, the question I always get is, when did you wake up? And I think, well, it was about 7 o'clock this morning. <laughs> And Julia said, I think you better get up. You're doing a show today, aren't you? And I said, oh, yeah, I suppose so. And a monologue. And I, do, I record a daily podcast. Most people don't know this. I record a daily podcast called The Naked Englishman. And it's, I don't do it naked. Just <laughs> and it's audio only. Back in the day when podcasts were audio only, never quite understand this thing when you see people and they, you know, they've got these cameras and very nice to see the cameras today because they're all very sexy cameras if you're into filming. Um, and in the, back in the day, podcasts were just audio. But these days, if you, you know, stick something on YouTube, they call them, um, you call videos, podcasts. Everyone said, oh, I like your podcasts. And I think to myself, which, which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the audio one only? Or are you talking about the video? Oh, no, the one with the video where you're sitting there doing a monologue and saying very interesting things. You woke me up. So I'm not surprised. I'm quite loud. Anyway, um, so I used to do this thing called The Naked Englishman. I still do it. And it's behind the scenes. I call it behind the scenes of a YouTube creator. And if you're interested and you want to know the... The inner machinations of my life is quite boring, really, because I go around with this little recorder and I'll talk to you as I'm filling the kettle or feeding the cat or standing out in the rain going, oh, it's raining today. But it's just, it's a bit cathartic because I've been doing that since 2005 and I'm so used to now just waffling. Julia often tells me to shut up, just pose for the camera. Um, and I'm so used to this waffling and it's great training. And one of the things that I want to recommend as part of my sort of set today is that we're in a time where we all need to be able to talk and get people, other people, those people who are awake, semi-awake, already awake, um, aware of what's going on. And I want to encourage people to set up channels, whether they're podcasts, whether they're YouTube videos, whatever they are, and get more and more of us talking so that the them... You know, the Illuminati or the Cabal, all those idiots, you know, that think they're in charge, that think they've got a hope just because they've been planning it for decades or centuries or millennia or whatever it is, uh, maybe from other planets or other spheres. You know, it's hard to tell these days, so much information to take on board. But just so that they realise that we're waking up in massive numbers and I think, that, you know, the more people, even if you've only got five people, ten people, twenty people listening to you, the, the algorithm will start noticing that more and more people are telling the truth and talking about the life we want. But I think on a spiritual level, on a manifestation level, that's also very good because the more positive spins that we put out there, the more we say, actually, we know what's going on. We're not having that. We're going to have a much better life. The more of that's out there in the ether that's continually being played on places like YouTube, Spotify and all of that, I think is very good. So I, that's, that's my big main message. And I didn't mean to get to it too early in the talk. 
So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm now off to Peterborough <laughs> to do a two-minute talk over there.